Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Uh, 99% of our viewers like watching video online, uh, and 1% do not. Margin of error, approximately 75%. I, I like taking polls. Sometimes I like presenting polls, but I never believe the results. You'd be crazy to believe the results of any poll, no matter how official it sounds, because poll results can be uh, manipulated quite easily just by asking the question that you may be asking differently than you would have asked it if you wanted the results to go a different way. So uh, I have a Google Docs account at docs.google.com, and a lot of people out there likely do as well. You can create, you know, documents, spreadsheets, presentations, all for free on the web. Talked about it many times before, so I'm not going to go into it right now. Anyway, Google released a feature where you can ask questions and get answers populating inside a spreadsheet in real time. It's very, very cool, especially as you see it roll out. We uh, just tried to take a poll when I posted the link to the chat room. Um, well, we've got 800 and some odd people watching us right now. And uh, it literally crashed uh, Safari and, and Firefox, and I didn't even want to try it in Internet Explorer because it, we had so many people that responded pretty much in real time. Uh, you're probably not going to hit the same ceiling as I have. I don't know if you have that many friends or that many people wanting to take a poll. So what I'm going to show you how to do is set up your own poll and how to share that poll or those uh, sets of results pretty much in real time with the people who are participating in the poll. And this could be done a variety of ways. And this is one that I did earlier. This is when I was troubleshooting through the whole process. This is what you see here. I'm just going to zoom in. And I asked uh, some people that are following me on Twitter, you know, what they thought about uh, a particular website. And I asked them to answer one, two, or three. One, they liked it. B, they didn't like it. Or, or I'm sorry, one, they liked it. I just pulled a Paul Reiser. A two, they didn't like it, or three, they didn't care either way. And the results came in, uh, you know, it was populated with these timestamps. These are their results. And then I had these results automatically populate inside of this chart. And this chart was set up to pull in three specific cells where I had set up a formula. And it was, it was, in my opinion, it was really easy to do. Of course, it took me a while to get to that point because no one really laid out the directions and this is what I'm about to do for you right now. So we're going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet by going to new spreadsheet here in Google Docs. It's blank. That's okay. I'm going to fly over to the right side of the window and press the share tab. It's going to ask me to title it. We're going to say game consoles or game console choice. Doesn't matter because I can't share this URL with everybody, otherwise, you know, crash on me again. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is select right here under the invite people section, invite them to fill out a form. And it tells me how it works. You basically create the form, uh, share that URL, that form uh, web address that they give you, and then the answers will automatically be added to the spreadsheet. That's what uh, crashed my browser. Of course, it didn't really crash it. It just locked it up because that many people were responding. I have a feeling like one or two people were ruining it for the other 800. So now we get the question form, form title, game console choice. I'm going to say the question title is, and by the way, you can ask more than one question, and there are different types of questions you could ask. I mean, you could basically do online tests using this feature. One Xbox 360 two. Let's say it's PS3, dash, and then 3, the Wii. You can add help text if you want to. I'm not going to worry about it. Question type, you can choose text, paragraph text, multiple choice, check boxes, or choose from a list. We're going to go multiple choice. The first one is going to be 1, second is 2, third is 3. And the reason why I'm populating with numbers is because in order for uh, me to get the spreadsheet application to do, interpret the data, well, it, it loves numbers. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, save. And there's probably a different way of doing this, but I'm just showing you the, the way that I've discovered it. The question that people are going to see when I give them the link is 1, Xbox 360, 2 PS3, 3 Wii, and they choose 1. Next, choose recipients. You can add from your contacts, or this is what I've been doing. 
you could right click over on this side of the form and let me zoom out just a bit so you can see the entire window here this is the URL that you would give to your friends or coworkers, students whatever I'm gonna right click that choose copy link okay you can do that in any web browser not just the one I have to use and then here in as I zoom out because it's a private channel I'm going to paste the URL in there so that the private channel can see it now when I go back here watch this when I go back to the edit look at this the numbers are populating in real time so now I'm gonna set up the formula to interpret these results I wanna find out how many threes I'm getting how many ones I'm getting and how many twos I'm getting that can simply be done by I'm gonna go into the C column equal that means I'm gonna start a, a formula count if count if count if open paren and I want to take the data from a, a range here I want to take the data from the B column so we're gonna start it looks like B1 or I guess the the row the first row is uh, labels for the columns we're gonna start with B2 that's where this particular cell is in the spreadsheet so B2 colon and let's uh, let's say five, we expect about 500 people to vote to be 500 so right now I've asked it and let me zoom in a little closer for those of you who are not familiar with how spreadsheets and formulas work I'm asking it to count how many times a certain number appears within this range of cells from B2 all the way down to B500 okay and I'm assuming you guys have played Battleship before so you, you're kinda of familiar with grids and coordinates and all that stuff so now I've gotta tell it what's the data I wanna count so I, pre I type comma space We'll start with one. I'll close the paren. I should say parentheses. It's a set of parentheses. Hit enter. And now it tells me 21. So if anybody else uh, puts a vote in for one, that of course will go up. Oh, I, sorry. I, I moved my mouse. <laughs> if anybody votes for one, the Xbox 360, 21 will jump up to 22. All right. So now we gotta, uh, we've got to count up uh, the second one, which is the PS3. So we equals count if pretty much the same thing B2 because it's the same range to B and the 2 by the way it's a colon B500 comma 2 because remember the first one we're, we're asking it to count how many twos we've got how many twos do we have 10 ooh it's not looking good for the PS3 alright third one count if colon, or parentheses B2 colon B500 comma 3 so Remember, I'm just doing the same thing, but I'm just the only number I'm really changing here is the result that I want to see uh, for that particular answer. All right, so 30, 19, 18. These numbers are automatically changing. This is the beauty of spreadsheets, by the way. These numbers are changing dynamically based on how people are voting. How people, for the more votes that I get here, this is a tally, okay? But now I'm making sense of it. I'm actually using the spreadsheet to calculate it for me automatically. Data that's being pulled in off the internet in real time. Yeah, I am kind of excited, I know. So what we're, we, what we're gonna do now is select these three cells. We're gonna select this range of cells. So that would be C2 colon C4. If you want, if you want the spreadsheet speak. And then up here, there is a chart button and let me zoom in a little closer here a little it's the only thing really that has color here we're gonna press the chart button it's gonna pop up in this dialogue and ask us what kind of chart do we want to make well I found for this particular type of poll that a bar chart works the best or column chart it asked me what data remember C2 through C4 that's what I had selected I could group the data by rows or columns I want to group it by columns and then over here it's showing me pretty much uh, this is at the time that I entered in to the editing the chart it's showing me what I've got in terms of results uh, one two and three so we're gonna give the chart a title console wars horizontal axis we're gonna say one uh, the first is uh, let's see here it was the Xbox 360 then the PS3 and then the Wii and I've been a uh, vertical access votes legend I can choose where I want to put the legend I'm not going to choose a legend at all and it's nice in 3d save chart now the chart is published pretty much in real time 
right here, console wars. So as I don't know if were you able to see that as more people voted for uh, this particular column, it went up. They voted for this particular column, it went up, and pretty much the Wii and the Xbox Three, they're pretty much in a dead heat all across the board right now. All right, so now I've got the numbers changing here. I've got the chart changing in real time on my spreadsheet. Uh, what I want to do is I want to hide these numbers. I mean, the formula's still there, but I'm just going to format, and you'll understand why in a second. I want to clean it up. So I'm going to choose to format that font white. Okay. And then move my chart over just a bit. Ah. It keeps updating, so every time it updates, it wants to choose the last position it was in before it updated last. Okay. So now, what we want to do is we want to publish this spreadsheet. This document is not yet published. Putting Publishing it puts the spreadsheet online for anyone to view at this URL. Publish now. And if I wanted to, I could automatically republish when changes are made. Every five minutes, uh, you could load, it would automatically load dynamic changes from the spreadsheet. You could even send this person uh, who wants to subscribe to it, you can give them the RSS feed for the spreadsheet changes, which is kind of cool. Gives you more publishing options as well. What parts, you can choose a specific sheet. So uh, we've got it published. So now if I right click, copy link, and let's zoom out again. On this one, I'm going to post into the chat room at live.perillo.com. So you guys should be able to see it. Now anybody who wants to see it can. You can't vote in it because I didn't share that URL. So let's take a look at what that spreadsheet looks like. There it is. And the reason why I... Uh, I chose white as a background color or a foreground color for the font is so that it would be transparent so you can actually see those numbers. You could if you wanted to, but then I have to go into labeling. It's much more interesting to look at the actual graph itself. It's it's really kind of cool. So now that uh, link will be around as long as I keep the spreadsheet around and it looks like we have I don't know how many votes. I suppose I could do another count or a sum. Uh, here of these three particular cells. Oh, spreadsheets are so much fun. It's not just for, you know, adding two and two. If you get into uh, the, the functions and the formulas, it gets really interesting because then you're pretty much limited by your imagination. And even though I was never really much of a math whiz, I did always like working with spreadsheets because as soon as you stumbled into a formula that was like, wow, that's kind of cool how you can do this. And then the chart is built. So there you go. That's a way to create polls, share them with your friends, uh, or you know, even now maybe you just learn that Google can do this to begin with. So forget about any other test apps. You might as well be populating data inside of Google Spreadsheets. It's free. Doesn't cost a thing, and you probably already got the account anyway. No matter if anybody else out there has got any uh, spreadsheet tips, tricks, I'd be interested in taking a look. Maybe some polls, tips, tricks. Doesn't matter. I mean, this is this is. I mean, we're using technology to do something, and even though uh, you know we like talking tech, I mean, this is, is something that you may be able to use outside of your own little geeky sphere, whatever you call the world that you live in. Uh, no matter, my email address is chrisatperillo.com, and you're also welcome to swing by the website uh, where we're streaming out live video pretty much 24 hours a day, and every once in a while you'll hear me have a eureka moment, as many people did earlier today. I was like, oh, this works. This is so cool. This is so cool. Because I figured it out. I did it. I got it to work. It was so cool. Sorry, I get excited about the stupidest things, I know. But uh, it's what uh, it's what keeps me alive, really. So if you'd like to talk tech with the rest of us, you're welcome to join us. We're waiting for you. So what are you waiting for? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.